Wow. Thank you so much, Dr. Wegerson and the entire Biden-Harris administration for your leadership in promoting the nation's health and for sharing this exciting news. We are so thrilled to be partnering with you on this mission. Dr. Wegerson, I am so thankful that ARPA-H exists to fill the gaps in our biomedical system that have, has amazingly delivered 3,000 approved drugs for 3,000 diseases. But we know that the system hasn't worked for everyone especially for rare diseases and for disadvantaged populations. In fact, there are still more than 9,000 diseases that don't have a single approved therapy, affecting tens of millions of Americans. So one in 10 of all of us, and actually more than that in this room, either has or will develop a disease without a single approved therapy. And at the same time, there are many approved drugs that could potentially be repurposed to treat many of the, these diseases without therapies. So our systems altering approach is harnessing AI to find the most promising new uses of these existing medicines, regardless of what their initial purpose was. At the end of this ARPA-H project, we will deliver to the world a fully formed solution that's able to rank every single repurposing opportunity and to advance the leading matches through clinical trials to help patients as rapidly as possible for decades to come. This collaboration shows the federal government at its best and highlights the ability of ARPA to take big shots on goal. Together with all of your support, we will save the lives of patients who currently have no treatments and little hope. I know the potential for this because it saved my life. I was trained to become a physician in memory of my mom when I became critically ill with a rare disease called Castleman disease. I was read my last rites and said goodbye to my family and friends when my doctors came into the room and told me, David, we've tried everything. There's nothing more that we can do. A combination of seven chemotherapies saved my life somehow, but I would continue to relapse. Then I discovered an existing drug for another disease and I began repurposing it on myself. It had been around for decades at the local pharmacy but had never been used before for my disease. And after nearly dying five times in three years, last month I celebrated 10 years of remission on this drug. <laughs> During this remission, I married the love of my life, Caitlin, had two beautiful children, wrote a book about my journey chasing my cure, and I joined the faculty at the University of Pennsylvania to continue to chase cures. Since then, we've advanced 16 repurposed drugs for diseases that they were not intended for, and we're moving them towards widespread use. These patients on the screen and thousands of others are alive today because of cures we uncovered that were hiding in plain sight. Patients like Kyla, who was hospitalized in critical condition for an entire year before we used AI to unlock a new use of an existing drug. It saved her life and we're now studying that drug in a clinical trial. She's getting ready for nursing school this fall and she's here with us today. And Michael, who was diagnosed with a rare cancer and given three months to live before we uncovered data that was sitting in a medical journal for three years before we began to repurpose a drug based on that research. Michael's been in remission for over seven years, and this treatment is now used as standard of care across this type of cancer. How many more treatments are waiting to be uncovered to save patients' lives just like these that we have to date? Though repurposing is much faster and less expensive than new drug development, three systemic barriers have gotten in the way of achieving this potential. First, there's no comprehensive database or scoring system of all drug repurposing opportunities. Second, companies aren't incentivized to repurpose drugs, especially for rare diseases and the 80% of drugs that are already generic. And third, no organization or federal agency is responsible for ensuring that every FDA approved drug is utilized for every disease that it can possibly treat. I co-founded Every Cure with Grant Mitchell and Tracy Sikora to overcome these major barriers and unlock hidden cures. And now with the support of ARPA-H, Every Cure will, will be able to scale our impact across all drugs and all diseases that can possibly be treated. Harnessing the expansive data infrastructure created by NCAT's Biomedical Data Translator, we're combining public, private, and government data sources to build the world's most comprehensive database specifically for drug repurposing. 
Then we apply AI algorithms to generate predictive scores for the likelihood of each of the 3,000 approved drugs to treat each human disease possible. We've already generated preliminary scores for each of these possibilities thanks to a partnership with NCATS, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, Elevate Prize, and Lida Hill Philanthropies. And while drug repurposing has been done for years for one drug or one disease at a time, this is the first effort to look systematically across all drugs and all diseases to find the life-saving treatments hiding in plain sight. Now we'll develop new algorithms, refine scores, and share them publicly, including through an interactive heat map of all drug disease scores. We hope you all will utilize these resources for your disease and share data and insights with us to continue to refine our scores and our system. But we aren't stopping at generating computational scores and tools. We're also advancing the most promising opportunities to laboratory studies and to clinical trials. Thanks to this partnership with ARPA-H, we have an incredible opportunity in front of us to save lives like Kyla's and Michael's and to scale our impact in ways that we never could have imagined. But we can't do it alone, and we need all of you to join us on this collective mission by contributing repurposing ideas and data or collaborating with us to advance promising opportunities. Together, we will make sure that no patient is ever told we've tried everything when there's a life-saving cure sitting on their neighborhood pharmacy shelf. Thank you all so, so much. <laughs>